Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Today's video, we're going to be doing some uh, PvP action, so live arena. There's just too much stuff to do in this game, like especially recently. We got fusions, we got titan events, we got Curse City. Like right now, Curse City is getting pretty hard, so it requires a bit more um, time dedication. And then we got live arena. So how are we going to stick all this stuff into our daily grind? It's actually getting kind of insane. But I'm going to try to do my best to keep up with some of the live arena stuff definitely enjoying it a little bit more it's very competitive of course in gold three currently we're sitting at rank 366 which is very good i mean you know global ranking right so pretty happy with this like definitely competing against some of the craziest players out there um i mean you got some literally crazy like rosters and then you got literally crazy like grinders up in here so um uh, yeah anyways let's jump into this and then we hopefully got some time for our platinum reset push so let's jump into it slowly grinding up um a little bit better than like obviously like a week ago a week ago is really really bad like my first step into goal three was just losses after losses but now we're kind of treading water a little bit so hopefully it continues um i think my like champions are good enough but obviously i'm lacking like um empowerments faction guardians gear wow look at this 6700 yeah. well let's uh let's put on a good show shall we let's put on a good show the other day i beat a 6600 i don't know how but i beat a 6600 plus four taras plus three duchess pretty pretty nasty champions right out of the gate um I mean, he's not gonna he's probably not gonna pick warlord my warlord is probably safe to pick mm, who's good mm, i think it's gonna be harma okay I'll go from here six star duchess so she's got the sheep going on here plus three probably 150k hp at least that's just wild. All right, let's see what we can do. I mean, it's looking like Ban Taras, but this guy probably has every single champion. So we'll probably be seeing Marichka, Yumiko. Could be Marichka, Yumiko. Always going, wow, look at these. Three damage dealers. Will we ever go first? Hmm. Okay. Let's stick with let's stick with our sneaky tried and true team here. He's gonna ban Harma and then thinks we have no damage dealers. So hopefully whatever we have left we can clean them up with. <laughs> He's going with the <clears throat> I'm going to drop this Hegemon. If we get nuked, will we die? We probably won't lose anybody. Maybe Makage. I don't really want to lose Makage here. Is the damage Hegemon with the blessing? All right, we'll leave Taras. All right, now we have to pray. I mean, it doesn't matter what we do because his we just have to pray, okay? We have to be extra risky and we have to pray. We have to pray for no weak hits with Makage's stun. It's a bolster, uh, Duchess. Makes sense. Pray for no weak hits. All right. We could sleep, he goes first, and then we can disable. Uh, it's probably okay for her to veil here so I can disable. Yeah. Okay.
six star sheep so we gotta be careful resisted that sucks Champs are super fast, too. Okay. We can E2. Okay, so it's a support Wukong. Damn, his Taras gets a go. <laughs> Literally no buffs, and this Taras wiped everybody with Harma on the board. Just yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? No buffs, AOE, Harma on the board, no big deal. Wipes everybody, anyways. Yeah, there's a pretty big gap there. I mean, you know what? We, I think we had a chance there. We had a chance there if um, we had a chance there maybe if. Um, Ramatu didn't get sheeped, right? So then Ramatu can come back with like stuns um, on his um, A1 or his fear. But Ramatu getting sheeped, not disabling, that was really bad. If he was able to not get sheeped and disable everybody, then we might have a chance there. I think we might have had a chance. Although, like, yeah. If none of our champions got sheeped, then we might have had a chance. But yeah, we're definitely, um, like, that guy's in another league, right? Okay. Damn, that sucks. He takes Makagi here. Hmm. I think I'm going to take Duchess. We need block debuffs for sure. So we go Duchess. Probably Harma. Okay, let's see. So he's gonna go first. Mm, what can we do? Going first, eh? Pick UDK, remove Bronda, force him to go through the with the Wukong. So remove Bronda. He's probably gonna remove Warlord, but Let's see. No, so he he kind of knew that the UDK would be the block for him. Yeah. Yeah, this can be tough. Let's see if he can... Like, his Wukong needs to be able to blast through some of our... Our champions. He might not be able to. But he's going to have a couple cracks with the speed up and all that stuff. And our Taras gets cheaped. So a lot of bad stuff happening right away. Transform, strip, maybe.
not super strong. He wasn't able to kill the Harma there. Holy cow, man. It's so annoying. Can't do anything. <clears throat> Can't do anything. Extra turn. No. Can't do anything. For us getting sheeped right away is you're basically running with it's three on four, right? So Wukong does no damage. Like that's kind of our only chance, but I mean we're getting heavily debuffed here. don't think it's yeah i don't think we're gonna be able to win this we we need like lucky sheeps not gonna happen here only warlord has a decent chance of sheeping anybody yeah his wukong does no damage but uh, right now it doesn't doesn't matter we can't get a turn It's a really uh, fun and engaging game, guys. Really fun and engaging match. All right, moving on. Some, you know, some matches, it, it's just kind of like that. Like, you just lose in the, in the draft. Um, yeah, some fights you just lose in the draft, so nothing we can really do. Six star sheep, so we got to watch any debuffers if we plan to bring any. thinking about bringing Rodos, but it would have been too easy to pick UDK for him. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. He might go first. Depends. Like, his Hellcat needs to be like 300 speed or something. 300 plus speed. Not impossible, but unlikely. Yeah, so we go first. Oh, sorry. He wouldn't be able to go first anyways. We can stun these two. See if that works. Yes, that works. Okay, so he can only use the A1. Sheep ourselves. Alright, that's awesome. Ooh, that's so awesome.
Oh, there goes Sifi. Oh, nope. Damn the weak hit. Might still be okay. It's not really a damage Wukong. Yeah. Keep control. Lock out again. And we do stuns again. Okay, this time we got sheeped. Stun again. Got a double, he's got, got only the A1. Okay. Oof. Alright, 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 alright. Slowly, slowly pecking this team down. GG. Able to pull it off. Getting some pretty bad RNG with the sheeps this um, session for sure. Every match we're just running our debuffers and turning them into sheeps. So if we had like better RNG with sheep, maybe the matches would be a little bit smoother. But I guess that's the risk, right? You bring the debuffers in, it's the risk of getting sheeped. So he wants to go first. We do a similar similar strategy. Yumiko. Mm. Boost. Should be able to cut in, I think, if we get rid of Yumiko. Hard to say. Because if we get rid of Arbiter, his Yumiko can still be very quick and lock us out. But if we get rid of... Yumiko, it's unlikely that his nukers will be that fast to line up with the turn meter because our Makage is 380. So it should be able to cut in here. Might be faster than the um the Duchess. Yeah, here we go. But got the block debuffs, so I'm gonna try to strip everything here. Okay. Uh, let's try to get Taras going. Nope. So we're going to be facing off this Wukong. Damn. Even took off, even took off the stone skin from Ramantu. Ah, man. 
Like this is no way a win, so. Yeah. Maybe if Romantu is still alive. He could AoE and Yeah, it's no way a win. Hmm. I think maybe we could beat this guy. Yeah, not a good session so far. So we banned Yumiko. I think it was, that was probably still the right play. Maybe we should have taken like some kind of speed lead or something. So then we can go faster. The best case scenario would have been to um, stun them before they get a go, right? That would have been the best case scenario. Like, stun them before the Duchess goes. Oh, this is interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Goes for the stun. At this point, I'm just removing Duchess. He will probably let me have Warlord. Remove Harma. He's going for the cleanser. I'm going to remove Mithrala. Okay. I think I'm okay with that. Should go first. Lock them out. Oh, I should go first. Stun them unless he has... Um, Stone Skin Duchess. Okay, full stun. Strip as well. This means I can kill the Wukong. to kill the duchess there she goes it's done again all right gg the passive from um passive from tross is gone so he just instantly melts pretty that was pretty gg worked out pretty well for us I mean, the guy's level 94, but I've seen some pretty crazy, like, sub-100 accounts in these gold 3 ranks. Like, they're not gold 3 for no reason, right? They must have, like, either insane counts, or they're, like, really good players. Or they play a lot. You can, Usually, you can make up for, like low win rate with high games played, right? So as long as you're ahead 50% uh, win rate or ahead, you will be climbing. So you just put in an insane amount of volume and then you can catch up. You could even be number one player. Technically, you could be number one player if you just put in insane volume. But as long as you hold a 50% win rate or higher. 
like that doesn't necessarily mean you are the best live arena player it doesn't necessarily it doesn't mean you'd have the best roster it just means you are the most dedicated player um being able to grind the number one right and in a way that's kind of worth that's definitely worth uh, celebrating as well so it's like wow this guy you know has i don't know ten thousand games or whatever the amount of games is but his win rate's like 52 percent but he's just, but he's the number one overall player it's like yeah you know good for you that's huge right <laughs> um so he's not gonna pick another dps most likely i, I mean raman is gonna show up here as well against these two uh, i'm just gonna pick probably my supports I'm gonna go to lockout i guess we go makage raman to again and then we just pick one damage dealer here Ross. Could go Rodos, but Rodos is a kind of a easy check for him. Three supports to go, right? He could go Arbiter, Arbiter Yumiko Duchess, or something like that. Kaimar Armor Kaimar Yumiko Arbiter. He does go with the UDK. Elva is a bit of a problem because she can um, do the cleanse, which is a little bit of a problem. She is probably a priority ban right now. UDK I can probably live with, but obviously he's not ideal. If I were him, I'd take another cleanser. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Hmm. Tough call here. Pytheon is probably like weaker than Elva. Also no speed um sorry, also no blessing. We go first, lock him out. Cannot stun him. Nope, not high resistance. And Wukong is dead. Wukong is straight up dead. Not going to be able to get through this for a little while here. He knows his path to victory is to kill off this warlord. Pretty big hit. So this, I've been seeing this. I saw this last time too. A DPS um, UDK, actually very interesting. I'm going to try to ally, attack, and kill the Harma. Almost, not really. Dead now. Lock him out. Good.
increased duration of my buffs. He's still locked out. I don't think he's fast enough to be able to get it, get it back. So I think we should be pretty gravy here. Just need to make sure we kill this guy. Oh, what? Resisted. So pretty high resistance. Oh, my bad there. Luckily, um, nothing too crazy. That's not going to get to him. Oh, man, he got to resist. Okay, finally lockout on the UDK. Got the stuns off. I kill off this Pythion. There he goes. GG. Nice. That's a good win. Take that. Yeah, he played it basically exactly, you know, he played it right, right? He picked the cleanser as the last pick to deal with the debuffers. Um, but uh, yeah, we were able to deal with his two DPS, control his reviver, and then, yeah, we played that uh, good too. Not like super fast win, but we had to grind him out. I mean, you know, not many of these wins are going to be like click start and blow up the team in five seconds. Like you got to grind out some of these games. Like my account's not going to be like super strong or my draft's not going to be so strong against somebody else's draft that just going to blow them up. Look at this guy, 9,410. Like what is matchmaking today? What is the matchmaking, right? I think Hellcat's going to show up in this fight. Yeah, he's going to go Tross. Like, why not, right? Where's Helicap? Oh, here he is. Okay, we got to save him to the end, though. What? Not in Power Tross? Come on, bro. I gotta take the monkey to be honest because even if i take harma did you guys see that taras one shot my harma with no buffs like that's what i'm facing against so harma's passive is not gonna do nothing against these guys <laughs> not gonna do nothing He gets last pick though, so Helicath, yeah, he does go Helicath here. Um, hmm. I mean, we have to ban this stupid champion. Maybe we don't. He does the lockout plus reset. Hmm. I gotta ban Marichka. I 
think that's the only chance we have. If we take out Marichka and then try to fight like a fast fight. Yeah, he's going Necrit to protect. We have to ban one of these two. We can't we have to yeah, the Necrit's gonna protect one of these champions. So we leave Taras. I mean it's gonna get nasty here. He moves our damage dealer. Can we win? Maybe. Maybe. Resistance, yeah. Our 80 accuracy is worth more than 80 resistance. <laughs> oh, a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. A little bit of luck here. Couldn't stun the Helicath. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my CP goes first. Really lucky there. My Warlord had a mastery to go off and then cut in front of my Sifi, so I thought we didn't have a turn, but Sifi was fast enough, luckily. This is the reset. Resistance. Resistance and block debuffs. Oh, that's nasty. I mean, I lock, I'm locked out. I can't really do anything. Okay. I mean, killing this Necrit is probably a, probably a big challenge. That was a pretty big full TM drop on everybody. Can I strip everybody? Oh my god, I did it. And then I got sheep myself. I'm gonna wait till Taras wakes up. Mm, they are locked out. Don't need this yet. Sleep. Oh shit, she's immune to sleep. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I'm bad, bad this game. Cannot be locked out, and she's immune. Locks us out. Man, this fucking game, man. This... That was a massive mistake. Like, I, if I slept Helicath, then maybe I have a chance. Because my Romantu would not be dead. Ross is back. Well... That's all she wrote, I think. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Yeah, super fun. I mean, it it's a really slim... It would have been really slim anyways. Because if my CV slept the Helicast, then I still get locked out. But I still get Ramon too. But it probably would have been over anyways. Really faint uh, bit of hope uh, there, fighting against. Um, haven't been able to like strip them and lock them out, but then the mythical champion is basically like unlockable. So disgusting. It's the most busted champion ever. But you know, if we take Marichka, we would have lost like maybe not instantly because Taras did get sheeped. But I think I don't know. I think we would have had. Probably a similar bad time against uh, Marichka. We played against this guy earlier. Pretty sure he beat us. Yeah. 
forgot what he went. I wish they I wish they gave us like more things to interact with. So the way I'm feeling this out is that we need cleanser and a block debuff. So looks like we're gonna need like Duchess plus a cleanser, maybe Mithrala. Mithrala should have enough resistance to resist her. We probably don't take Mithrala till later, unless we want to ban her. Let's go Duchess first. If we take Monkey, then we have to get rid of her. And then Mithrala with the last pick. Maybe, I don't know, Mithrala is probably not going to be super good here, but... She might be better than Pytheon. She should be able to resist Makage's sleep at least. So we're gonna go Georgia then. She goes first. I think if I was confident in going first, I would ban Suzanne, but I wouldn't be able to outspeed the Sifi. Stone skin, okay. If he tries to kill her, I don't think that's going to happen because he's in stone skin. Oh my lord. But he's going to wake everybody up here. If he tries, he doesn't try. That's the smart move. Yeah. A stone skin... Stone skin, Georgid, one shot my Duchess. How does that freaking happen? That's absurd, man. Yeah, she has a strip too. So gross. She has a strip. Yeah. Literally save. Literally save them. Literally save them. If we had the buffs going off, then. Here comes the stuns. Okay, time for me to do some sick things here. Fuck. We got a Hail Mary. And it's going to be this Wukong. One Hail Mary Wukong. It could work out for us. Wukong's going to wake up. Everybody's going to wake up. He's going to get a turn. Here we go. Mm, probably want Sifi to take the extra poison damage. Wukong takes a turn. Boom. GG. Boom. Boom. There it is, guys. There it is. That's why I picked this guy. I was like, I'm not going first. I'm going to lose all my guys. Okay, so I'm going to have Wukong come in.
I think I would have won this one earlier if he didn't have the strip perfectly in time with the Taras. Because Taras would have had like an extra like five buffs. But Mithral actually worked out really well there to Hex. Really controlled um, the team. I mean, we got really lucky there too. But man, that stone skin Georgid cutting through my Duchess like nothing. It's like... I was that that's that's unless it maybe it has savage plus stone skin i could see that savage or lethal plus stone skin i'm sure people have those combinations nowadays so that's probably why man that's that's just insane savage stone skin georgia or savage stone skin nuker just insane over time it's going to be more and more people that have those combinations but don't worry, the mythical champions will be even stronger, probably. Can't wait to see the next mythical where it's like, ignore stone skin. Ignore stone skin, kill something, extra turn. Just stupid stuff. I mean, oh, that's basically Georgia. Oh, how about permanent stone skin? Oh. <laughs> how about a champion with permanent stone skin? I can see that too. It's something stupid. Permanent three turns to bone skin, can't be stripped, can't be ignored, whatever, whatever. I can see that. It's like total nonsense. Total baloney. I think Seafy's gotta go first. So I think we remove Seafy. I want the speed aura. I want Makagi. Okay. He might pick Rodos, and then our last pick could be like uh, UDK. He could go Rodos UDK as well. But I think we ban Sifi here. Or Marishka. Damn. Okay. Guess we go Duchess. Damn it. This is super nasty. This is like UDK plus, I don't know, Emic plus super annoying stuff. Okay, so he goes first with Sifi and then maybe Makagi goes. That's actually a pretty huge fear. So now we have the chance to stun. Let's see if it works. Stun them all. That's huge. Let's see if Ross can blast her to death. No. One hundred percent need to sleep her. You can shut my passive off, that's the problem. Okay, so I don't think I will be able to kill her. If I don't, it's gonna be massive problems. I think we can win the long game.
GG. That was a little bit better. We had more buffs on Wukong. But yeah, GG there. But uh, yeah, I think we won because of the fear. If he didn't get the fear on his C feed, then he would have had block debuffs on his whole team, and then we wouldn't have been able to stun his whole team. Uh, and then it would have been a totally different game. So 50-50 on the on the fear, and then he lost the game. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. It's Wukong or Harma. I'm just going to go with Wukong. He might be a little bit stronger versus Tross. But he has a lot of things you can pick to counter Wukong. Less things to counter Harma with. Yeah, UDK is one of those champions that uh, he can definitely use to counter. I mean, we're going to have to live with the UDK here. We'll take Makagi. And if we take Telecath, he'll be forced to take Cleanser, most likely. And then we remove Taras. All right, let's give Telecath a little bit of a little bit of a chance right sorry they won't take a cleanser he'll take a strip so he might take Ramon to here but he has to pick a DPS so. so he's targeting the Wukong he's probably gonna ban Sifi who are you banning The ally attacks really strong on the Marichka. Okay. So we probably go first. This is a really bad spot because... I mean, yeah. I was thinking about banning Marichka. Marichka or Taras. Could have been Marichka. Um, we'll see. See how this goes. We do have the Warlord here, so maybe the Warlord can do something. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can kill off her. We could not kill her off? Really? Damn, I didn't get the turn before uh, Rhonda. She's gonna kill the Wukong.
such um bad timing. Just bad timing. After uh, she goes, I can maybe stun them, and then it might be a different game. Okay. I do get stunned. I could not kill this Rhonda. Turn meter? Nope. And I could not drop the turn meter on these guys. Oh, man. And she resisted, I guess. I don't know if it's a 3% or what, but she... Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. I mean, there, yeah, there's no way we can win. We need like an insanely lucky Wukong, but I don't think it's happening here. He's just going to wait for the A1. Uh, yeah, the stun's not going to do anything. We transform. Ally attacks, not going to do anything. Can we get a turn? If we get a turn, maybe we can do something. We don't get a turn yet. There's our turn. Okay. We reset a little bit. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. So he can revive, right? Or did he revive already? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a resistance. Yeah. Resistance touches. Still no drop turn meter. He just revived. Try to kill her now. Okay, now she's down. Okay, let's try to set this up again. So Wukong comes back. He doesn't have the revive yet. Hmm. Kinda need to have her asleep. Or stunned. Nope. Resistance. Forgot. I guess or locked out. only way we can do this is maybe if we can set up 
an ally attack into her, kill her, and then have the turn meter like full. Weak hit. Resist, yeah. Yep, it's gonna be tough. Like, yeah, over at least 700 resist. Yeah, I don't know if, I, I don't think I can, like, we have Accuracy Aura too, and we, yeah, this guy is just. Yeah, we have Accuracy Aura on her, and then we try to use the sleep, and he's still resisted, so definitely really, really high resistance. Still resisted. Yeah, definitely not happening here. Hmm. We need to get the Wukong back anyways, so... He knows it too. Like, we can A2 the Marichka. Hmm. Resist, resist. Okay, so... Alright, so that might be GG. We blow this guy up. She brings everybody at, back. No. I guess it gives us a chance to wake up the sheep. It's two turn sheep. Really um, bad luck there too. I got the resist. Oh, sorry. I got the um. I got the cooldown. Oh, he knew it. He look. He's so happy to get that off. He was so happy to kill off the Wukong because he knew that I got the um. I landed the, the lockout. That could have been it. Could have been the spot that I needed, but he's gonna get the cooldown back pretty soon. Amakagi will come back. There we go. Good. 
comes back. I get to go first. Shit. I thought I had one turn. I wasn't sure the cooldowns on my Wukong, but I thought I had one turn. Resisted. Marichka and UDK. I swear I don't have any good good luck against that combo. That's a pretty strong combo. I think it's over. She's just A2-ing Wukong and then he can't revive anymore. Okay. One chance with Wukong. Nope. Alright, GG, man. 15 minutes, I mean, friggin' I tried. Gave it my, my best try here. My Wukong did 1.2 million damage. Oh my god. I just couldn't find a way to get through the Marichka passive. I just couldn't find a way to get through the Marichka passive. So as soon as, yeah, I just couldn't find a way. And the fact that this Duchess kept resisting um, my Warlord meant that, you know, it was very unlikely for me to win this because the Duchess would always have the revive back. So I could kill the Duchess first, then kill Marichka. Marichka brings back the whole team. Duchess revives. Or I can kill Marichka first, brings back the whole team. Duchess revives Marichka. I mean, the only way we could have won this one is if somehow we ally attacked, killed Marichka, and then Wukong had the immediate next turn, and then he would just wipe the team. That was the only real way to win. Um, but then the UDK was like, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that that was a pretty long, long loss. So not the most uh, enjoyable fight for anybody. But, uh, you know, sometimes we try our best to try to win so we can find ways to win and get better that way, right? So we went five for five today. Um, we didn't lose twice to this guy, which is really good. Uh, that was a really tough fight against this guy. The Wukong came in pretty clutch. Same thing with this fight. Wukong was pretty huge. Um, this one, I mean, Crixia here. Yeah, really tough, really tough fight. 9,400 player. I mean, what's 9,400? 9,400 player? Yeah, so we played against this guy. The number third, the third ranked player in the whole, in the whole system. We played against him. So yeah, pretty fair, pretty fair matchmaking. Um, and then we had played against this guy, 6,700. So 6,700. So we played against the third ranked and we played against the sixth ranked. It's absolutely bonkers why we were playing against third and sixth. Um, you know, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit of a longer one. We had some longer fights. Uh, you guys stuck through it. I appreciate your time. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the fights. But this is what goal three is like. We're trying to grind up some wins. Um, and yeah, it's tough. We gain, you know, nine spots for a five and five record. Win rate slowly dropping 72% already. 
but uh, it is what it is you know it's still pretty fun it's still pretty fun to try to test ourselves and you know try to do the best we can with what we have so um and obviously i'm very fortunate to have what i have uh, but it's tough it's very tough so anyways guys let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions or anything i could do differently i'd love to hear it i uh, love to see what you guys have to say and uh yeah have a great start to the week and i'll see you guys in the next video